I shot a squirrel and it's right here. Trying to get away. Okay, this is a recap of the video I'm not sure how to make. The reason why is because I have a tree in the backyard, this giant tree. Okay, very big tree. I use it's about 30 yards to the bottom of the tree where we shoot all the time. And the target's at 21 yards. On this tree, there's two large squirrels, a male and a female. About a month ago, I killed a male, and the female squirrel, since being the entire month, just basically screaming at me every day. And when I'm out here shooting, it will warn all the ground squirrels when shooting and making a screeching sound. It's just basically screaming like God knows what. Hates me. Okay, so this afternoon when I came here, that female squirrel sometimes is up here, up there. It's hard to find. I tried to shoot it a couple times. Let's recap. I tried to shoot it a couple times. I thought I killed it, but I basically missed it or barely wounded it somehow. So this afternoon, I found the female squirrel by this little plant right here and just eating. So I decide not to pick up the camera because sometimes I pick up the camera, set up all the films, and the camera have warning lights in front of the camera for red light and all that stuff. And sometimes squirrel sees those bright lights and runs away. What happened is I just went ahead, grabbed the gun, loaded, select the pellet. So this time I'm using the new pellet. It is a 14.66 gram heavy hard impact. The best part is it has 25 joule, 25 jader E energy. Just a little less than 25 joule, which is 18.44 pounds of energy. Okay. All the pellets I got here, it's about 16 pounds. And 16 pounds, there's another 25 pounds right here. Heavy hit. Max shock effect. Okay. So that is a, that's a heavy pellet. So I shot it. I win. I grabbed the gun and I shot it all the way up there. By that little tree right there. Right there. And it was over the walkway. Just over the hill. And that's where the coyotes and eagles and crow they will fly on top of that tree. There's actually two tree tops. You can see there's another tree top right there. Another pine tree in the background. So I can pan around. There is. There's two tree tops on top of those tree, two tree by every morning. There's two crows and falcons and eagles that will be on top of there. And almost every squirrel I killed, in the last probably 15 squirrels, all got picked up right on that sidewalk. By the concrete sidewalk right here. Which is blocked off on both ways because of property. Okay? Um, the eagle would fly down and grab the dead squirrel. Two, three, four. And I haven't been killed any squirrel this week. Um, they got away. I uploaded a video earlier this week. The ground squirrel went all the way around. This time this is a real squirrel. Red squirrel. I typically don't touch squirrels. But this one is uh, literally live on that tree and screaming at us every night in the morning. Because I killed her husband maybe. So, I shot it. I went up the stair. Went up the hill. Let me see a stair. I went up the hill. Between my neighbor house I went up the hill and walk over when I just about by that pine tree over here the squirrels right there okay somehow came alive and crawl and crawl reverse crawl into the hole into this hole right here right there and I'll show footage after this and um, long story to be short I'll show a couple of footages uh, one is the squirrel crawl after that hole I came back in I tried to see if I can see through the hole and find a squirrel inside the hole and shot and basically finish the job by shooting laterally. But I can't see the squirrel in there. And my wife, about an hour later, called me. Says there's a squirrel in front of our yard, on the bottom of the yard. So basically, the squirrel went from that hole, crawl out, crawl a little bit, roll it down, crawl a little bit, roll it down, all the way to my yard. On the here, this is all in my yard, but crawl all the way to the to the ground floor yard. That's the canopy for the. So on the second level, that's the first level canopy. So there's another level down. Went all the way down there. And um, I'll provide footage how I killed it again. But th what I'm surprised is it came out of that hole. And say squirrel typically like to die in the hole. But I actually left this hole. It, maybe because it's not a ground squirrel. It's a tree squirrel. And went in there probably found a bunch of dead squirrels. They, they didn't like to dig in there after I hit it. Um, I like shot the squirrel. They would like to crawl back in there and die. So this real squirrel probably see. Oh shit there's a lot of dead body. And crawl out. And um, maybe try to take a revenge. And because a new 25 jewel 14 point. 66 grand bullet. Um, I shot it four times. One time up there, three times down there. Finally kill it.
to put it out of misery. It is a full size squirrel, full size squirrel, not the smaller one, the medium size one. This is a, I, sh I use a shovel. I would guess the squirrel probably around whew, five pounds, four pounds, three to four to five pounds squirrel. It's big. It was a, I have to use both hands. It's a big, big squirrel, not a small squirrel. So, yeah, maybe not five pounds. Five pounds is exaggerating. Uh, maybe three pounds. The, the most, the heaviest squirrels I, I shot so far, including the ground squirrel. It has about eight nipples, ten nipples. I don't know. It's a female squirrel. So, yeah, I guess this video needs some narrating, needs some storytelling before, otherwise the footage won't make any sense. This guy I shoot was up there and it crawled it's all the way on the top of the mountain down and just stuck here. So I give a few more pellets and now it should be dead. For sure. And I bring it up to the mountain so the coyotes and the hawks and eagles can crawl and get to it. He went from here, crawl all the way down to where that is. It's crazy.